Hey guys, welcome to oddsmarket.com. Sports writer and tipster Nigel Seeley is on the line. I've written an article for us uh, detailing the Premier League uh, best value picks of the weekend. He's here now to give us his top picks in person. Nigel, thanks for being here. I'm looking forward to it. Another good week of the Premier League. Yeah, another good week. I'm very excited as well. We've got some great fixtures lined up. Uh, question is though, where's the value? Uh, what, what matches are you looking at? Well, there's three games I'll concentrate on this week. Firstly is the champions Leicester at home to Crystal Palace. Crystal Palace got beat 1-0 by West Ham in their last game. Played very, very poorly. Uh, very inconsistent. They're either in or out. But Leicester haven't been doing it in the Premier League, but all their four has been solid at home and it's been dreadful away from home. They haven't lost a game in all competitions at home in 90 minutes. They did get beat by Chelsea in the Capital One Cup, which was over extra time. But in 90 minutes, they haven't lost a game. And I think 2.05 about a Leicester win here is a big, big price. They've won three out of three in the Champions League. They're virtually through to that next round, so they can ease up a little bit there. Uh, and I think Palace are coming here uh, on the back of a very disappointing result against West Ham. And I think 2.05 is far too big. I'd be around 1.8 uh, for Leicester to win this game. So I think Leicester, the champions, finally show a little bit of their quality. And I think they'll beat Crystal Palace at 2.05. That's my main bet of the weekend. Yeah, yeah. Do yeah. you know, I saw that one. I'm very surprised to see, you know, they do come from that win uh, this week. Uh, coming into this match, 2.05. Fantastic. Uh, you know, Premier League, uh, Premier League champions at home. Um, but some would argue that obviously they're putting all their eggs into the Champions League basket. Uh, obviously, they, they lost 3-0 to Chelsea. They failed to score. Uh, but then Crystal Palace, they're a team that are hit or miss. Um, are you dead certain you definitely wouldn't pay a, play a draw no bet? Or you think that confidence-boosting Champions League win is going to sort of, you know, clinch, clinch all three points there this weekend? I think, you know, the, the point was that they have put all their eggs into the Champions League basket, but they, they, they've pretty much done that. They've through to the last 16. They've got to turn their attention to the Premier League at some stage because they're not going to win the Champions League. So I think this is a good time for them. They're not at home to a uh, Liverpool. They're not at home to a, a Manchester United. They're at home to a, 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 an average Premier League side in Crystal Palace. And I think 2.05 is too big. I mean, if this was Chelsea at home to Palace or if this was uh, Arsenal at home to Crystal Palace, there'd be 1.25, 1.3. Uh -huh. And I think Leicester's too big, just bigger than even money. All right, fantastic. Now, uh, we were talking about um, earlier Tottenham, obviously, they're taking part in the Champions League as well. They drew uh, on Tuesday, nil-nil. Uh, they're pretty good favourites as well. You can get them around two. Uh, would that be a value bet there that we should take? I think they will win. I think they've got a great record against Bournemouth. They won last season 5-1 and 3-0. Uh, there's always goals when these two sides play, and this will be a really good footballing game. Eddie Howe and Mauricio Pochettino love to play football in the right style, so there'll be goals in this match. Uh, I do think the two's a decent bet. If you want to play an accumulator or, uh, or have a, even a single, I think Tottenham will be too strong. They've only lost one game all season. But for, for the value point of view, I'm looking at both teams to score here and Tottenham to win, which is a massive 3.75. I think that's a huge, huge price. I do expect both teams to be on the score sheet. I do think over two and a half goals will be a winner, but I do think Tottenham will win. So getting with goals and getting with a Tottenham victory looks the best way to go in that one as well. All right. Another bet I'm looking at here, but on the fence, so interested to hear your thoughts, uh, West Ham versus Sunderland. Um, obviously, West Ham have been struggling. They've got a new stadium, which they'll be playing in uh, this weekend. They host bottom of the league Sunderland. Um, obviously, they, it may be a sign of things to cut, uh, turning th things around. Obviously, that with that 1-0 Crystal Palace win. Uh, currently priced 1.75 uh, for the home win. Do you think that's a value bet or still wait and see how uh, West Ham's forms improves? It's not a price that I want to be put back in 1.75 about West Ham at home to anyone. I know Sunderland are the worst team in the Premier League by far. I think they will get relegated this season unless David Moyes gets a sack before they get locked into a big relegation battle. I don't think there'll be many goals in that game. That's one thing I don't think. I think it'd be quite tight. One goal would win it. But still, West Ham at the moment, the jury's out on them. I wouldn't back about 1.75. Not for me, Natalie. All right. So what else have you got then uh, that we can get tempted by? The only other bet I like, I think it's a big price. I think Manchester United are a big price to beat Chelsea, 3.75. I mean, Chelsea don't deserve to be odds on to win this game. They're odds on favourites. Mourinho is going back to his old stomping ground. He'll be so keen to produce a show. Will he go there and get a nil-nil like he did against Liverpool? Will he get tackling frustrate the side? Uh, both games last season were nil-nil and 1-1 one -one when they met each other. Uh, there's always been very, very low scoring games between these two sides. Um, but I think Chelsea are a big. I think sorry, Manchester United are a big price on any given day. They're capable of beating anybody, and I think Chelsea have got problems. I don't think they're as good as the bookmakers are giving them. I know they did beat Leicester last time out three 0 but for me, they're too short, and I'm going to take a chance on Manchester United at three point seven five. 
Wow. Well, uh, those uh, those odds certainly were uh, worth the risk, uh, shall I say. Listen, guys, thanks for watching. But do head on over to oddsmarket.com. Check out Nigel's article there detailing his picks. Um, guys, thanks for watching.